let's discuss a problem involving revenue. A go-kart track has about 26 racers per day and charges each racer $35 to race. The owner estimates there will be two more racers per day for every $1 reduction in price per racer. We want to build a quadratic model for the daily revenue of the go-kart track. So keep in mind that revenue can be calculated by multiplying the price of an item times the quantity sold. And that's exactly what our model is going to use. I have information about the price, $35 for each racer, and the quantity, 26 racers. So we could multiply those together to find the revenue that currently exists. But I want to create a model that has some you know, motion to it. I can reduce the price by $1, and the owner would expect two more racers. So I'm going to take a variable x to represent the number of price reductions. And based on that, I can build for the price, I can build a formula 35 minus x because each price reduction is going to lower the price by one dollar. So one times x. And for the quantity, I'm going to take 26 plus 2x because each time I reduce the price one dollar, the number of racers is going to go up by two. So this gives me a quadratic function to work with. I have you know, price times quantity. So now we could multiply this out to create a standard form expression, but it's actually pretty close to intercept form, close enough that I can easily use it to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are going to come from setting that expression, 35 minus x, times 26 plus 2x by setting that equal to 0 because when the function value, when the output equals 0, that's when we get the x-intercepts. But of course the zero product principle allows me to split this into two simpler equations, 35 minus x equals 0. That's going to happen when x equals 35. And alternatively, the other equation would be 26 plus 2x equals 0. So 2x equals negative 26, or x equals negative 13. So making sort of a rough sketch of what we have, I have a parabola with two intercepts, one's at negative 13, and the other x-intercept is up at positive 35. So one question that we might want to think about is, does this parabola open upward or downward? And so for this, it might be helpful, we want to think about the a value. If we multiplied this out, if we did FOIL this, we would end up with an x squared term by multiplying the negative x with the positive 2x. So I'm not actually going to multiply out the whole thing, but if I did, I know that the leading term, the a value, would come from negative 2x squared, and so that negative 2 tells me that it's going to open downward. Well, that's good, because this question is asking me about maximum daily revenue. So I know, indeed, I am going to get a maximum. That maximum is going to happen at the vertex. And of course, that vertex happens on the line of symmetry. So my next step in my analysis, my second step, is going to be to find the line of symmetry. And we can find the line of symmetry by averaging together the two x intercepts. So 35 and negative 13, adding those together, dividing by 2, I get 22 over 2, positive 22 over 2, or 11. So the line of symmetry is x equals 11. That's also the x coordinate of the vertex. So I can plug that into the equation to find the height. So we have 35 minus 11 
times 26 plus 22, like 2 times 11, and if we multiply those out, we get 24 times 48. Grabbing a calculator if you need to, we end up with 1,152. So my third step in the process, I find that the vertex has coordinates of 11, 1,152, which tells me my maximum value for revenue is $1,152 per day. So to wrap up this problem, let's answer the specific questions being asked. How much should the owner reduce the price? So the answer to that is $11. Remember our value for X corresponds to price reductions. The owner should reduce the price by $11. And if they do, they'll achieve maximum revenue of $1,152. So let's look at a second example that's somewhat similar. You might want to actually pause the video and work on this example on your own first, and then check your work by watching the rest of the video. This time, we have an online music store that sells about 4,000 songs each day and charges $1 per song. If they increase the price by five cents, they expect about 80 fewer songs to be sold. So we want to create again a quadratic model and find out how the store can maximize their daily revenue. So again, our revenue function, our revenue model, is taking price times quantity. So I need to find an expression for the price and an expression for the quantity. Again, I want to take x to represent the number, this time, the number of price increases. And with that, I can build my model. r of x, the revenue function, is going to take the initial price, the starting price, and I want to add 5 cents to that, 5 cents times x times the initial quantity of 4,000 minus this time, because when the price goes up, we're going to expect to sell fewer songs, minus 80x. So again, I'll, I'll just point out uh, from the get-go here that our a value is negative, right? If I, if I multiplied this out, we would actually get negative 4x squared plus some other terms. So the value for a equals negative 4. So I know, similar to our previous example, I'm going to have a parabola that opens downward. Also, similar to the first example, I can find the x-intercepts by setting each of those expressions equal to 0. So my first step, the first step in my process, is to find the x-intercepts by setting 1 plus 0.05x equal to 0. That's going to give me x equals negative 20. And the other intercept comes from 4,000 minus 80x equals 0. 4,000 equals 80x. And if we divide 4,000 by 80, we get 50. So x equals 50 is the second intercept. So the two intercepts that I have, the two x-intercepts, are going to be at negative 20 and positive 50. Of course, my second step is to find the line of symmetry. And that's going to be the point exactly halfway in between. So we can average those two numbers together, 50 plus negative 20 over 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. So my line of symmetry is x equals 15. And that's where the vertex lives. So my last step is to find the vertex. If I plug x equals 15 into the function, I get 1 plus, well, 15 times 5 is 75. So 1 plus 75 cents. And on the other hand, you know, 15 times 80 is 1,200, so 4,000 
minus 1,200. If we multiply those two together, we get a value of 4,900. So to finish our problem and, and think about this idea of maximizing revenue, what we've determined is that maximum revenue is 4,900, and it happens when we increase the price 15 times. We increase it by 5 cents 15 times. So maximum daily revenue of $4,900 occurs when the price per song is $1.75. So overall, the idea here is we can use some given information to build an expression that represents price and quantity. Multiplying those two expressions gives me a quadratic model for revenue, and we can analyze that quadratic function to identify maximum daily revenue.